They are nurses and doctors who lived through the crushing first wave of COVID. So what's coming next? We're already in the second wave, and it, we know it's going to get worse. A lot of our patients are young with no past medical history. This was Dr. Adele Basili Marcus in April, giving a tour of Mount Sinai's busy intensive care unit. Nurse Valerie Burgos is working there now. Her patients between ages 30 and 94. What we knew in March and February is a lot different than what we know now. Sean Petty is an emergency room nurse at Jacoby, a city hospital. The main thing that we've learned since the very beginning was that this is not primarily a respiratory disease. It's more or less a vascular disease. It's an inflammatory vascular disease. And that's why steroids like dexamethasone have been a game changer, because they reduce inflammation. We know certain doses of steroids early on for the first 10 days makes a difference whether a patient is moderately sick or severely sick. Blood clots become a significant issue, so administering blood thinners like Coumadin and, warf and Warfarin. And doctors are not so quick to put COVID patients on ventilators, which resulted in 88% death rates in the spring. Your settings are gonna be your flow. Two non-invasive machines have become crucial to treat COVID breathing problems, the high-flow nasal cannula and the BiPAP device. They deliver higher levels of oxygenation to patients. So that's a key thing, I would think. From what it's a huge change from, from just six months ago. It's, it's a huge change. But the two techniques create a humidified air cloud around the patient, and hospitals were initially reluctant to use them in March. It throws the COVID into the air and the environment. And that puts anybody who comes into that room, especially the caregivers, at risk. But Burgos told us N95 masks worn correctly have protected healthcare professionals very well, and they're more comfortable with the treatments now. One very successful treatment involves proning, turning a COVID patient on their side or stomach to reduce fluid in the lungs. But nurse Sean Petty worries the medical strides will be hurt by failure to prevent infections. The increase in the amount of infections ultimately negates that progress. So it is possible that we will see more death in this wave. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. Gosh, we all hope that's not the case. Our coverage of this pandemic continues online at PIX11.com slash coronavirus.